imagery of cube sets, including the Lithogenia Sat 1 and Lit Sat 1, have been deployed by the National Space Station. Well, your insurance co your insurance company's not not gonna like you very much if you keep doing that. Oh no! Where's my seatbelt? Do you have your seatbelt on, Jeffrey? No. Uh, I don't think so. Oh! Oh, that's not the road. That's they, the yeah, yeah. It looks like you're ta taking a shortcut, huh? Oh, there's so much for that fence. Uh, oh, look at those sports cars. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, the new. I'm going to show me, show me the, uh, a brand new, uh, a new safe house. Here's the one we went through a red light. Oh, look, there's a blimp up there. There's the train station, oh, there's a tram station over there. Mm -hmm. There's a, the boy. Safe house? Okay, go ahead. A, a brand new safe house. Okay. A brand Alright, we're at the safe house. There's the bed. And, the, and there's a locked door and the what? works door. No entry in the bathroom. And there's a the manpower elevator. I'm going to show me a... Uh, you mean the stairs. A, I'm going to show me uh, a new garage. There's the maid over there. And there's the garage. With a car. Yeah. They have a lot less things. There's than, a kitchen. Uh, yeah, small kitchen. Living room. Was it? Dining room. Dining room. Yeah, what do they they do at the, the dining room? And the the backyard. Mm -hmm. What's and what's what's yeah. that? What is it? The outdoor swimming pool. Uh huh. And what else? What's, what's a little circle thing there? Hot tub. That's a hot tub. Yeah. And the we right next right next mm -hmm. by the uh, okay. the tennis court. A tennis court? Tennis ball. Do you play tennis? Yeah, it's like the Woods Pool. Okay. I'm liking. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they have a couple of tennis courts next to Woods, Woods Pool. You're right. And you go back in the site. Mm hmm. And this is a full site kitchen. <coughs> and there's the MPP. There's the couch yeah. in the hallway. And there's a sign that says no entry. That's locked. Mm -hmm. And this, and that's the, the other bedroom. There's the bed, mm -hmm. and there's the closet, that's the bathroom. It's Look closed. how nice and neat oh, everything is in there, huh? And over here, oh, really? what's that? Well, what is that? Bathroom. That's the bathroom, that's right. It, is that everything? Is yep. that it? Okay. Look. All right, this is oh, a, a the snow house. It's just beginning to snow, oh goodness. Good thing I put the car in the garage, huh? Oh my goodness. It's ah, you really can't see very well out here either. Don't let him go outside. He won't go outside. Well, who's the cat? No, Blake. Yeah. No, Jeffrey. Several imagery of cube sets, including the Lithogenia Sat 1 and Lit Sat 1, have been deployed by the National Space Station. These are the Lithuania's first satellites, and they're out and running. NASA, get your pencils, I'll give you the frequencies in a moment. NASA reported that the nano deployments took place February 26, 7, and 8, as the onboard Expedition 38Q crew prepared for the arrival of a cargo ship from the U.S. and the departure of three crew members. While that was going on, they literally launched these satellites, shoot them out the door. Two sets of nano rack CubeSats deployed late Wednesday and early Tuesday from a deployer mechanism in the multi-purpose experiment platform attached to the Kibo robotic arm. So 
so they don't just throw them out the door, they actually do sling them out. The uh, two more launches to go, and they'll all be up. The uh, Sat-1 carries an FM transponder, uplink at 145950, signals coming back to Earth at 435180. And it also has a packet transponder, if you want to send some packet up, 145.85 to go up. And the packet will return with others at 437.55. The CW beacon, if you just want to listen to it go over, is on 437.275. Lit Z1 carries a sideband transponder. A plate goes at 435.18. Listening back to Earth, which means we can all do that, at 145.95. And also they have a packet transponder going up at 437.55 coming back to Earth at 145.85. Ardusat 2 will transmit 9.6 MSK data at 437 MHz downlink, and this mission is to provide a platform on which students in the DIY space enthusiasts may design and run their own space-based experiments. More to come, UPSAT, UAP, UPSAT, We'll carry a packet transponder up at 14598, coming back at 437.385. That's uh, employed by the University of Las in Peru. And finally, one from the National University of Engineering in Peru has a data coming back to Earth at uh, 437.25. So lots going on in space. These are all up and running, so... Uh, Turn your radio around and listen. You may find some satellite data coming back. This is K0G and D Lincoln. All suspects here. Annaman Islands on 3 Charlie 0 on the year till March 8th on HF bands. Barbados, Zambia, Rwanda, Bahamas, Easter Island, Morocco, the Dominican Republic, Luxembourg, Aruba. Uh, Bob W5AJ is on the air's P40G enjoying the sun. Well, we're not. On air, PJ4 on the air, Saba St. Eustatius, PJ5, Suriname, Papa Zulu on the air, a couple of guys from Belgium over running that station. Iceland has a special event station, some guys in the Northeast who were operating as a Tango Fox portable their calls. Christmas Island, that's a rare one, VK9 X ray, a couple of guys from Seven Land out there as VK9 X portable their home calls. Turks and Caicos Islands is on the air with a group of uh, some around this neighborhood from Zero Land. Bermuda, Latvia, Nicaragua, just Antakuna and Clo Island on the air. And let's see, uh, Amsterdam St. Paul's operation in uh, earlier this year, the Fox Tango 5 Zulu mic operation has been approved for DXCC credit. It's today we'll be at the convention on March 15th, that's a Saturday, and we'll be checking cards, so if you have cards to be checked, bring them over and then you have to mail them in the AWRL, we'll take care of that for you. This is K0G Andy Lincoln. They showed an aurora borealis in Europe. The stretch of the United Kingdom from Wales all the way across through Scotland, and just spectacular uh, ribbons and curtains of color in the sky as the solar flux has really been bumping around. From Ted Cook out in Seattle, he says we saw an increase in solar activity over the past week, but it appears that perhaps the second week of, uh, or second peak of cycle 24 is not over. Average daily swing spot numbers are about 20% above where they had been before. Predicted A indices to be um, the 20 to 25 range in the next few days. On Thursday, February 27th, the CME hit Earth at 1645. That's the one that caused the activity I mentioned in the UK. It was from an X4.9 solar flare that reported on the 25th. The planetary A index increased to 24, which was the same rating for Alaska's college A index. Mid-latitude A was 15. If you look at the Daily Sun image from the left side of the page, and they've got some websites here, you can see what's going on there. The new auroral prediction tool is online, ready for you to use also. And tonight begins the uh, phone weekend, the AWRL sideband contest, running March 1 and 2, which is uh, 4 p.m. Friday, started at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 3-hour time, 
It runs until 4 p.m. on E3 or Eastern Time on Sunday. So there's lots of DX stuff on the air, and the packet cluster right now is just going nuts with lots of stations. Take a look at the current results from WWV. Let's see what the solar indices are. Solar flux currently is 171, A index at 13, K index at 2. We've had a moderate S2 activity on the sun in the last 24 hours, and they're predicting an S1 and an R1 in the next 24 hours. So that's all the information we have for you tonight from the Lincoln Amateur Radio Club. This is Key Zero GND. We'll take a uh, standby for additional chase check-ins to the net on the station like to join us. Then we'll go back up the list for comments. So, who else is out there? Check in only with your call sign. This is Key Zero GND.